now. Time for our grand reveal. Uh, oh. Everyone is happy with another double homicide. <laughs> Nothing can go wrong. Monotaro, you're such a prima donna. I gotta put up with all this nonsense all the time. Oh dear. I'm lost, honestly. <laughs> the only way to win the game is to not play. Hey, um... What do you mean there are no victims? Even if you're killed in this killing game, you're a winner. Because then everyone mourns you and you get tons of posthumous popularity. That was really difficult to say. Yeah. Monokuma, keep some secrets, my god! All right. <laughs> well, knowing this game's narrative, you just might. Now we get a smash cut to Kaito, who's currently losing his mind. Ah! I'm fine with real ghosts, but impressions of them are too scary! Logic does not compute. Uh, did you hear something? No, I didn't hear anything. Self-loathing, imminent. Brain not working, abort, retry. Failure. Soon as Monokuma came back, Monodom is just back in the bitch seat. You know what else is scary? Sweet buns. Yep, tasty, tasty sweet buns. So round, so sweet, so delicious. You gotta love them buns. That doesn't sound scary at all. I'm scared too. Scared of losing my friends. Ah, uh, did you hear something? No, I didn't hear anything. Is all that remains of a once powerful Answer us, Himiko. You chose the middle room to lure us into your trap, did you not? Then you used that trap to kill Tenko, yes? Well, Donkey Lips, did you kill that twat? Wait, must be some mistake. No way Himiko is culprit. Then she needs to defend herself. Otherwise, this debate is deadlocked. I don't care if you gotta use magic to do it, but say something already. Your life is literally on the line, Himiko. So are the rest of ours. Are you even listening? No, I'm not listening. At least she's honest. I... I don't care anymore. I'm too tired. Angie died. Tanko died. Why did I have to survive? And now, you're all saying I killed them? I just don't care anymore. Himiko. Do whatever. If you want to vote for me, then just go ahead. Uh, the game gets really blah if the suspect isn't into it. That's not 
What the problem? Damn it. Don't tell me you've given up. Kimiko, don't give up. Don't you understand? My life is riding on the outcome of this trial! Just shut up. I told you, I'm too tired. This is actually a new low for Himiko. I don't think she's ever felt depression on this level. It's all just a big pain. I can't put up with it anymore. What are you talking about? If you give up here... You needn't worry. Himiko was the one who chose that room. Therefore, she is unmistakably the culprit. Really? Impossible! Himiko would never kill Tanko! Himiko, not that kind of person! Gota can tell by Himiko's face! Himiko's a little... slow, so I don't think she's capable of handling a complicated crime. I also think Himiko's not the culprit. Um, somehow. Either way, we gotta look for more possibilities. That does seem like rather a pointless quest. No, it's not. We gotta be strong. Gotta keep thinking. Then we might find new truth. Maybe if we rediscuss something, we'll find a new angle? So no give up, Himiko! Yeah, stay alive with the rest of us just a bit longer. Who knows, maybe you'll survive. Yeah, we know this all too well. This pain, this suffering. Losing someone extremely important to us. No giving up. She wouldn't like that very much. Performing the seance in that room was Himiko's decision, was it not? What if someone steered her into picking that room? Of the three empty rooms, why did you select the middle one? Because you laid your trap there. Was trap only in that room? Other rooms may be trapped too. Yeah, even if Himiko picked the room, Someone else could have set that trap! Your opinions are empty words. Oh my god. Is Gonta secretly a genius? Oh my god. Oh! They might have persuaded her to choose that room somehow. But how? And what would that tell us? Somebody's still playing the game, and they're playing hard to win. But Gonta actually threw something at me. And this is why I checked the last truth bullet we got, because I knew it would be important. It's the one I currently have equipped. When talking about the empty rooms, everybody's saying, oh, Himiko chose the, the place to kill Tenko because it was the middle room. But what if the trap was in every other room? Oh, thank God I got it. I agree. It's just like Gonta said. Each room was the same. They were all trapped. That way it didn't matter what room was chosen. The end result would have been the same. What? Is that true? Kokichi will tell you. <laughs> I was way too careless. Uh, wait, what are you talking about? The fact that you ate shit. In fact, it was so painful, you nearly passed out because of loss of blood. That was a bad spill. But you prove something that's an amazing detail for us. While you were in the room next to the crime scene, you found a loose floorboard, right? Well, I didn't find it so much as I stepped through it and tripped.
Oh my god, we get another back door. And this one, it's it's gonna be a stretch. Because we need to lie using the caged child. But I have no idea what that's going to turn into. Here's hoping we can at least... Uh, oh, well, there goes the statement. <laughs> at least I know it's uh, fairly close to the beginning. Let's see what this bullet actually is. I'm curious. Oh! Huh. Alright. Let's try this one more time. Well, this is the first time you've ever seen things that I may or may not have edited out because of accidentally missing the answer. So three statements in, and we're going to go with the different part of the fable, the village, not the caged child ritual. Please hit. Yes! I'll reveal the truth. Have fun, Shuichi. And disrupting that plan might teach us something. Alrighty. But do know this, Shuichi. You are going against the ultimate anthropologist with this knowledge. I hope you know what you're doing. Tsumugi is correct. I believe Himiko was being set up. Himiko only picked that room because Kyo wanted it as dark as possible. did choose an empty room because of what Kyo said. Are you saying she chose the middle room by pure coincidence? What a coincidence it is. The culprit gambled on the middle room being picked through coincidence? I mean, it's just crazy, isn't it? That seems highly improbable. Improbable, but the truth! No, the culprit wouldn't have left that to chance. So that means something else must have happened, right? No, they needed to manipulate Himiko to frame her. There are three empty rooms, which one shall we use? The middle room. There was nothing around those statements that pushed her in that direction. So let's think of something else. No more. No, oh, never mind. Case is over. I told you, it's too much of a pain. Just do the voting or whatever. I'm pretty sure it didn't matter which room Himiko chose. What do you mean? It's getting kind of boring, so I'll explain. She didn't choose the middle by coincidence. Each room was the same to begin with. There we go. Each room, same? Remember what Gonta said earlier? Maybe the culprit placed traps in all the rooms? Well, that was correct. Before the trial, I hurt myself checking all the rooms. Ah, that's right. You took one for the team, Kokichi. You bludgeoning your head by falling through the floor might have just saved everyone. Kokichi found another loose floorboard in one of the other rooms. Well, I didn't find it so much as I stepped through it and tripped. What? Hold on! There was also a loose floorboard in the next room? Hmm, it's almost like this was a setup. So the culprit prepared a trap in all three empty rooms, not just the middle one. Not leaving it to luck, not leaving it to chance, making sure that there would be no possible way that a murder scene could be missed. If the culprit set traps in all the rooms, then they wouldn't need to select a room themselves. So the real trap was for someone else to pick a room and take the blame. It's actually a very clever setup. You didn't expect that one, did you? 
I see. We were caught in the culprit's trap all along. Especially you! Who? <gasps> oh. oh, wait. But now there's no reason to suspect Himiko, right? For the most part, yeah. Himiko, do you remember what Tanko told you? Live life facing forward. She said that to you, right? If you give up on living, you'd be betraying her memory. We're all trying to keep our promises to the dead. This trial, it's not just for our lives. It's for everyone who's died as well. That's why we can't give up. This is our responsibility. We live on. You're right. Yeah, that's right. If I gave up here, I wouldn't be able to face Angie or Tinko. That's right! So let's do our best! <laughs> Alright! I'm not gonna say it's a pain anymore! I won't give up! I'll fight alongside everyone and survive! This is probably the greatest turning point for Himiko. As well as Shuichi, just a little bit. He's recognizing that somebody else is in pain and sharing in it. But my god, if this isn't just a spring up from where she was like, everything is a pain to, oh yeah, let's do it! Do not say everyone. After all, the Blackened is still among us. Mysteriously playing another game. Hey, there you go. Killing the mood like usual. I mean, is he wrong? But damn, well said, Shuichi. That's what I'd expect for my soul, bro. Yay, we're all in pain, yeah! You're... Soul, bro? God, I hope it doesn't stick. Well, anyway, do you think the Blackened this time has some sort of superpower? What are you talking about? Well, as a self proclaimed expert of stepping through floorboards. <laughs> isn't it weird that no one stepped through that floorboard before the culprit used it? Ah, that is a good point. It must have been barrier magic. Well, that's one possibility, but I think it might have been something else. No way. No way. Oh my. Yeah, that must be the reason. Why did nobody step on the piece of wood that was loose? Because somebody just happened to, uh, put something on it and told us very directly to not touch it at all. Kyo's Magic Circle. This is it! It's because of the Magic Circle at the scene of the crime. He used a fear of curses against us. Before we began the seance, we were warned not to step on the circle. The floorboard in question was within the circle. That's why no one stepped on it. So the magic circle's purpose was to keep us away from the whole trick. This is brilliant. That was part of the culprit's plans too? Yeah. And because of that, I think we have a prime suspect. Oh, baby. <laughs> there is no doubt in my mind. Oh, man. Well, that was just ramp right up after the intermission. Only one person had the opportunity and the motive 
They were in the room. They knew the layout of the room. They knew everything. We have our culprit for Tenko's death. You. It has to be you. Kyo. Was it you? Hmm. Whatever are you talking about? I'm talking about Tenko's murder. Kyo? Why do you suspect me? Because you're the only one that makes logical sense. If it wasn't me, wasn't Himiko, wasn't Kokichi... For this case in particular, it has to be you. Because you were the one who drew the magic circle. This means you knew the layout of the entire room. The circle kept us from discovering the seesaw trick. But that's not all it was for. In order to make the murder succeed, variables like Tenko's position and the placement of the cage needed to be defined. Oh my. And those variables were defined by using the magic circle. And the entire seance in general. In short, the circle itself was the most important tool in this murder. Knowing that, the person who drew the magic circle has to be the culprit. Well, Kyo? Answer already! Did you do it? <laughs> oh my. I think we're just about to hit a breaking point. What is so funny? I was just thinking. So this is how each Blackened must have felt. What an intriguing experience this is. What? An intriguing experience? But if I am the culprit as you claim, then I stomped on the floorboard, yes? So, do tell. How could I have stomped on the floorboard during that darkened seance? A very good question. I wonder if we're gonna have to figure that out next. I see. That is problem. <laughs> Unless that is made clear, you cannot be certain I am the culprit. How can you be so calm when you're backed into a corner like this? I will explain that in due time. Please answer my question first. How did they move around in total darkness? In a room that dark, it's hard to imagine the culprit found the right board. If only... it was laid out exactly to their specifications. Wait a minute. Maybe... Did you figure it out? The culprit didn't even have to see it all. Here we go! You couldn't hear much of anything. No smell, no sixth sense. They used their sense of touch. That's it! The culprit used touch. They didn't see. They felt. That way they could get around in the dark. Like how I got to the candle. Wasn't Seesaw in middle of room? Gonta doesn't think it was near wall. So they probably used something besides the wall to move then, right? Hmm? Were there any other markers within reach? Of course the answer to that is, there was nothing of the sort. There had to have been something. A landmark to find out where the board was. Well, of course it was at the scene of the crime. That's what we're trying to figure out. Hey, look at that, another hangman's gambit. Five and then six. The culprit used what as a marker to position themselves in the dark? Oh, I think I got it. 
you know what? This is actually really cool. <laughs> I mean, I'm, Keo, I'm sorry, man, but uh, we're gonna have to call you out. Great plan, though. Oh, is this one? Yeah, I got it. He used the magic circle itself in order to find his position, in order to find his footing. It was all laid out. This was the perfect plan. Good job, Keo, I think. I 